we are learning to transfer our ideas from a plan into a draft piece of writing. So we're going to use this plan that we created to write our piece of writing. So you'll remember from yesterday that this is called a cyclical plan because it goes around in a cycle which just keeps repeating. And we have four parts to our cycle. That means that we are going to have six paragraphs in our piece of writing. We're going to have an introduction. Our introduction tells the reader what we are going to be writing about. So it just introduces them to the topic. And in the middle here is my ideas for my introduction. My next paragraph is going to be about the egg. So this is in my plan here, the first part of the life cycle. My next paragraph is going to be about the caterpillar stage of the life cycle. So related to this part of my plan. My fourth paragraph is going to be about the chrysalis stage. So related to this part of my plan. My fifth paragraph is going to be about the butterfly stage, so related to this part of my plan. And my sixth paragraph is going to be a summary, so it's just going to sum up what the main things were that I talked about in my story. So let's get started with our writing. So I'm going to do my introduction first. And in my introduction, I said that it's about the life cycle, that there are four stages, and as the butterfly um, changes, each stage is called metamorphosis. So I'm going to put those ideas into my first paragraph. So here's my first paragraph. I've written these ideas into sentences. This story is about the life cycle of a butterfly. The butterfly goes through four stages in its life cycle. Each stage that it changes is called metamorphosis. So in this first paragraph, I've told the reader what I am going to be writing about. Now I'm going to start writing my second paragraph, which is about this part of my plan. I'm going to tell the reader about the egg stage, how there are hundreds, they are the size of a sesame seed, and they lay them on the underside of leaves. So these ideas I'm going to put into sentences and add some detail. So here's my second paragraph related to the first part of the butterfly life cycle. The first stage of a butterfly's life cycle is the egg stage. The adult butterflies lay hundreds of tiny eggs. These eggs are so small they are about the size of a sesame seed. The butterfly usually lays them on the underside of a leaf where they will be safe. So you can see that I've added some detail here. I have added in some adjectives. So I've said that the eggs are tiny. So that's an adjective there. And then I've said why I think they lay them on the underside of the leaf. I think that's because that's where they will be safe from predators. So you would keep going in this way until you had included all of your ideas in your cyclical map. So you have your introduction, your first paragraph about eggs, your next paragraph about caterpillars, your next paragraph about the chrysalis, and then a paragraph about the butterfly stage. Now I'm going to show you about writing the summary. So that would be your sixth paragraph. My summary is where I remind the reader about all the things I've written about in my story, but I don't introduce any new information. So here is my final sixth paragraph. It says, the butterfly's life goes through four stages. Each stage is very different. 
the butterfly's life is cyclical, so the same stages occur again and again. So you're going to do your writing today using a cyclical map, but you will be writing about frogs. And you will also have six paragraphs. An introduction, a paragraph about the first part of the frog life cycle, the second part, the third part, the fourth part, and then your last paragraph will be a summary.